Ellipse with center not at the origin. In this video we are going to discuss ellipse on the Cartesian plane with center not at the origin but on point H, K. Since the center is not at the origin, but at point H, K, so the major axis is the line passing the center parallel to the x-axis, so the horizontal line with the equation y equals k is the major axis. And the minor axis is the vertical line passing through the center with equation x equals h. The distance from the center to right side vertex is a, so the coordinates of this is h plus a k. On the left side vertex has a distance a. Also, but since the direction towards the left so h minus a, k is the coordinates. Along the minor axis with distance from the center going up is the vertex with coordinates h, k plus b. Going downward also with the same distance is the other vertex with coordinates h, k minus b. Going to the right from the center with distance c is one of the foci with coordinates h plus c, k. Going to the left with distance c is the other foci with coordinates h minus c, k. This ellipse has the equation quantity x minus h squared over a squared plus quantity y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. So the major axis is y equals k. The left and the right vertices have the coordinates are h minus a, k, and h plus a, k. And the foci have the coordinates h minus c, k, and h plus c, k. While the minor axis has the equation x equals h. And the lower and the upper vertices have the coordinates h, k minus b, and h, k plus b. Take note that for the major axis, h is subtracted and added with a or c. And on the minor axis, k is subtracted and added with b. So let's talk about the ellipse with equation quantity x minus h squared over b squared plus quantity y minus k over a squared equals 1. Take note that a squared here is over the y, so the major axis is parallel to y axis with equation x equals h. And the minor axis with equation y equals k. The upper vertex has the coordinates h, k plus a. While the lower vertex has the coordinates h, k minus a. The right side vertex on the minor axis has the coordinates h plus b, k. On the other side, the keft side vertex has the coordinates h minus b, k. The upper focus has the coordinates h, k plus c. And the lower focus has the coordinates h, k minus c. For ellipse with center not on the origin and major axis parallel to the y-axis, we have the following. Equation of the major axis is x equals h. And the two vertices on the major axis have the coordinates h, k minus a and h, k plus a. And the two foci have the coordinates h, minus c and h, k plus c. And the minor axis has the equation y equals k and the vertices on the left and the right have the coordinates h minus b, k and h plus b, k. Example quantity x minus 1 squared over 25 plus quantity y minus 2 squared over 9 equals 1. Since 25 is greater than 9 and 25 is the denominator of x so the major axis is parallel to the x-axis with center 1, 2, or the coordinates of the center at x1, y2. And a squared equals 25 and b squared equals 9. Since these are squares so we are going to get the square root. So equals plus and minus 5 and b equals plus and minus 3. We have b squared equals a squared minus c squared. Solving for c, we have c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So c squared equals 25 minus 9. So c squared equals 16. Getting the square root we have c equals plus and minus 4. We have now the important values. So from what we have before, major axis is y equals k, vertex at h minus a, k, 
and H plus A, K and the fossa, at H minus C, K and H plus C, K. Substitute the values we just solved. So major axis Y equals 2. Vertices at 1 minus 5, 2 and 1 plus 5, 2 with foci at 1, minus 4, 2 and 1 plus 4, 2. Performing addition and subtraction we have vertices at negative 4, 2 and 6, 2 and the foci at negative 3, 2 and 5, 2. For the minor axis we have x equals h, vertices at h, k minus b and h, k plus b. Substitute the values we have major axis x equals 1, vertices at 1, 2 minus 3, and 1, 2 plus 3. Performing addition and subtraction, we have vertices at 1, negative 1, and 1, 5. And after solving we have here the ellipse. Center at 1, 2. Major axis at y equals 2, vertices at negative 4, 2, and 6, 2. And foci at negative 3, 2, and 5, 2. Minor axis x equals 1, and the lower and the upper vertices at 1, negative 1, and 1, 5.